Hi, this is Nikki. I am here today to work on my first budget. Now, you may be thinking, wait, you're midlife Nikki. You are in your 40s, in the middle of your 40s even. You have never had a budget yet? And the answer to that, unfortunately, is correct. So I'm starting out. My first thing that everybody writes down is their income. Now I'm not getting any income from YouTube yet, so what I do have is my income from my day job, and I'm gonna round numbers out here because, because. So this is what I get every two weeks and my partner gets something like this and so math nine two four two we're going with this we are getting this every two weeks and we are getting paid, unfortunately, on the same week. We used to get paid opposite weeks, so we would get a paycheck every single week, which was really helpful in paying bills, but we don't have that now, so we're dealing with this. The next thing that we do is we list our bills, right? So we own a home, let's see here. So we have a mortgage and our mortgage payment is about that every month. And we have student loans. And those are paused right now, but I'm gonna include them because they're gonna kick back up at some point. Um, so that is about that. And then we have two cars. So we have my car, whose name is Bucky, by the way. And my car is 285 a month. And then my spouse's car, whose name is Silvano. Yes, we name our vehicles, is 292 a month. We have some hospital repayment plans. Hospital plan right now is 150 a month. We also have, so we just finished paying off $53,000 worth of credit card debt. We did it with a debt management plan and I can go into that in another video, how I got into it, how I found it, how I made it work. But we finished that off, but one card didn't make it in so I'm including that one, that we have that one credit card that's not open, that we don't use, but that minimum payment is 90. Now we can put more towards that if we want to, which, you know, we want to. Okay, so these are all the bills that we have balances on. Our mortgage, we have 67,000-ish remaining. Uh, student loans, 26,000-ish remaining. My car has about 6,000 left. My partner's car has 5,500. I'm a little grumpy that he's ahead, but his payment's also higher, so it makes sense. The amount left on this Discover is something like 43. And the amount that remains on the hospital bill, we've been paying on this for some time. It was emergency room visit. You know, we had to meet our deductible. So I, the first thing I do when we get hospital bills is I just say, I call them and I say, can we get on payment plan? And they were like, what can you put in? And I said, 150. And a couple of times it's been tight, but we have $770 left on that. So these are the things that most people would usually have more credit card stuff in here, but we have no credit cards right now. We have a Discover that we're paying off, but we don't have active credit cards that we're using. So basically we are all cash. We don't use cash, we use the 
bank accounts, but you know what I mean? So then we have, I wouldn't call them exactly utilities, but we have the other bills that are regular bills. So we have, you know, clearly gas. Now my partner needs about 45 bucks a week. I need about 25 bucks a week because I don't fill up every week. So that is 60 a week. AAA, best money we ever spend every year. That is straight up 132 a month. Oh wait, a year. That's right, I have. I'm just gonna include that audible because I like audiobooks. I did have it paused for three months and I think I'm gonna pause it again, but for right now, 17 bucks. Everybody knows how much that is, but I donate to some people on Patreon. That is, we're gonna say $7. We have all of our streaming services. We actually have Disney and Hulu, Netflix and Amazon Prime. We also have Paramount Plus and that's included on my family's cell phone bill. It was a bonus. So we have a year of that. And we have ads with Disney and Hulu to bring the price down a little bit to make it more reasonable. So Netflix is 17 and Disney is 14. So these are per month. Amazon Prime is, I have it listed under streaming, is 139 a year. 17 and 14, $31. Groceries. We need to figure out a way to bring our grocery bill down. Right now we spend about $200 a week. That is for four people. I feel like I can bring that down, but groceries really have shot up over the years. So maybe I can, maybe I can't. I feel like I need to start some meal planning to make this a little bit better. Maybe even shop a couple of times a week. So I'm just buying what we actually need and not what I think we're gonna need. I don't know, but this is one of those things that varies, but that's about what it is. Sometimes it's 170, sometimes it's 220. I would love to get this bill down. We have insurance and that is car insurance, house insurance, life insurance. Uh, that's 112 a month. And I should see if it would bring it down significantly if I paid every six months, because I know that can help bring your bill down a little bit, but I'm not sure how much. We go get our haircuts. I should probably include hair. I'm one of those people that tips ridiculously at the hairstylist. Like I'll usually give a $10 tip for a $20 service just because I feel like they deserve it. And we just go to cost cutters, the cheapo place. And that's the other reason why I tip more because I feel like the prices are cheap. You're, you're probably mostly working on tips. So I'm going to say $30 a month because if we got our haircut every four months, that's one person a month. So we'll say that's 40 bucks a month I'm, or 30 bucks a month. I'm just guessing. None of us do anything spectacular right now. Although my youngest would love to do fashion colors. I'm sure as would I, but I'm not there yet. Okay. And then I have utilities. We're going to put utilities right here. Cell phones. The kid, the family actually has a different plan than I do. My plan is through my workplace and their plan is 150 a month, 50 bucks a line. Not too bad. Actually, everybody needs new phones. So we should probably start saving for that cloud storage. So we use Dropbox because it is the best thing when your computer dies to have all of the files that you use all the time already saved and ready to back up and drop onto the new computer. I also keep all of my installation files, like the most recent copy of the installation files in there, just so that I have programs like Picasa that has stopped being developed and dis dispersed, but still works. Dropbox is not cheap, but it's $120 a year. And I think it's worth it. We have our electric bill that varies. I'm going to say it's about $90 a month. We have internet. Our internet bill needs to be renegotiated because right now it is $125 a month. Now T-Mobile wants to sell you a Wi-Fi internet that goes through self-service for 50 bucks a month, but I don't know what the speeds are like and I need to find that out because 50 bucks a month that never goes up. I would pay that over this 123 a month. The thing is, I need it to be fast because my partner works from home. Occasionally I work from home. 
we're all on our devices like all the time watching videos and stuff so i need to look into that and work on bringing it down i have oil so we have summer winter hookup which means we get oil deliveries all year round because our furnace is run by oil and that means our hot water is run by oil, which means we need hot water all year, which is why we have the summer winter hookup. We put on a budget plan so that our bill is the same all year long. And for me, it's extra money, but it makes me like the peace of mind knowing that I have the same bill every month really helps me out. I actually did start a spreadsheet trying to determine whether it would be better for us to go on an actual just pay as it is delivered or not, but I haven't figured that out yet. So right now our oil... And this is going to change right now it's 420 a month and it's that high because last year the projections of gas prices were ridiculous now i think it's going to come down i hope it's going to come down and i always pay a little bit more maybe they told me it was going to be 400 dollars, but i always pay more because one time at the end if those estimated payments don't cover how much i actually used i have to make up the difference at the end in in June and that's a big bill sometimes to pull out of your pocket. So I always pay a little bit more and I had a credit this year and I went ahead and made, I didn't have to make a May payment. I went ahead and did it anyway. I would rather be ahead with them than behind hundred percent. So that's oil. We also have trash. Our trash bill is through the borough. We pay 315 a year. And that is the discounted price for paying early. I always pay early so we don't have to pay an extra 15 bucks. I know it's not a lot, but, and then, and this should be it. Water sewer is also the town we live in and it varies, but it is about $130 a quarter. This is the only quarterly bill we have. Sometimes it's 120, sometimes it's 140, 130 sits right in the middle. These are all the bills. I know what the income is. Let's take a look at some of these. These guys, 1887. Now, you know what I'm gonna do actually? On the computer, I have exactly what my bills are and I have exactly what the totals are. And I've rounded up for here because I feel like that's close enough, but I am gonna take the totals that my computer gives me and show you those. So for all of the bills that we have, Per pay period, I need to save about $2,000 to pay all these expenses, which leaves me about 429 savings for things that we need to spend that isn't like spelled out. I have, I'm going to call it outstanding. Outstanding balances is about 110000 you can do the math and correct me, but essentially this is what I have based on the numbers that are in my spreadsheet. So I don't have to add. And this is per pay period. So the fact that I have extra money to put towards savings or fixing things or unexpected expenses is amazing. I have never had that before. I'm not great at budgeting and I'll go over my budgeting process in another video, but I'm no good at it. But now I have money that I can save and start setting aside for and thinking about. And so that is awesome. And I don't know, is this a budget? Would you call this a budget? Would you consider it a budget? Would you call me out and say, yo, this is just writing numbers on a piece of paper and recording it for a video and nobody's interested because it could be that too. That is what I have. I hope this was enjoyable, uh, maybe, and there wasn't too many shadows and I will figure out my lighting situation better next time. Bye. That, that looks weird. Bye.